Oh my gosh, thank you, Lord. Woo -hoo -hoo. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today is day number one, the Major League Fishing Toyota uh, Pro Tournament here on Lake Gunnersville Professional Open. There's 260 boats. We are boat number 141. We are hooking the boat up. We are about to take off and go to the ramp. Today should have been day two. They canceled day one due to bad weather. We got so much rain last night. There's four feet of water over the 79 causeway. We have to detour up and over Grant Mountain to get to Goose Pond. Kind of crazy. So we're going to head there. I'm excited. I don't know what all that flooding is going to do to the fish. If it doesn't blow the lake out, I don't know what will. Um, and a lot of our fish were on Main Lake. So might be tough to find them today. We might have to scramble. We might have to run some new stuff. I'm excited. Come along for the adventure. Subscribe if you haven't. And let's go Nord B! Woo! Oh, yeah, that. Here we go. Let's go catch him. guys it's a cluster this morning people are still putting in boats and he is launching boat number 25 right now excited got Chandler and Laker sitting with me and we are going to get started here fishing with Mark today how you doing Mark good how's everybody doing today yo I'm doing good hope you guys are doing good we're gonna go catch him all right water is a little muddy little muddy how muddy you think that river is Laker Flowed out. Hey, have you ever seen 79 flood? No. Four feet of water? No. Crazy. I went all the way over. I went up the mountain past Dude. the state park and put in over there at wow. South Saudi. Did you really? Yeah, ran over wow. there. Wow. All right. Well, good luck. Go hey, catch him. Bro. Go catch him. I'm excited. We're going to turn on the cameras. It's cold, guys. Got the frog togs. These gloves are awesome. You know, I always used to use those leather ones till I found these. And then we're with frog togs now. They're awesome. Got boots on, everything. You guys want gear from frog togs, get it 20% off my code AN20, capital AN20, on their website. But let's go catch them. It's going to be fun, guys. I'm going to throw some thump gel on my base real quick. All right, let's get them. I don't know about it. That's coming out further than I wanted it to. Yeah. Yeah, I've never done any of that. I've always wanted to. Elk and moose, eventually. There he is. Got him. Good one. Good one. Stay on, buddy. Stay on, buddy. Oh, man, he's way out there. Stay on, buddy. Did you pump it? Yep. Good deal. Oh, there he is. He's right here. Here, if you can scoop him up, scoop him up. Oh my gosh! Thank you, Lord. Woo -hoo -hoo. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> wow. Let's go. Thank you, Jesus. There's one over five. Oh, 
Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh. That's probably a six, yeah. Thank you, Lord. There he is. Got one. Net. Thank you. All right. I got him. Thank you. Yeah. He's a fat little guy. All right. Number two, guys. Number two. Oh yeah, these are perfect. These are the frog togs ones. I used to wear deer skin leather gloves because I couldn't find one I could cast with. And then I found these. They're great. Frog togs, what are they? Just frog togs gloves. They're the lighter weight ones. Yep. But they're, my hands are toasty. <laughs> and then they make the same pair without fingers. Yeah, and I, I have some of those in there. Yeah. Yep. Man, he's running in shallow. You got one? Nice. Good one too. There you go. I bet it is. Trap? Yep. Nice. There you go. Good one, man. That's a stud. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's over four, I think. Nice job, man. Yeah, that's a four and a half. Good job. Wow. Boatworks, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and Sp Springfield, Missouri. Great boat dealership. Highly recommend them. If I mean they they sell all over. We're trying it. There's one. Got him. I'll just bow flip him. You sure? Yeah, he's a, he's a hook pretty good. All right. Thank you, Lord. Huh? Chatterbait. Go, guys. Number three. Good deal. Thank you. Man, that dude's a hoss in there. <laughs> wow. He's got some shoulders. Hey, let's get him. Go. New water. Alright. New water. Oh. There he is. Yeah, it's... Again, I don't think he's over two and a half, but he's getting heavier. Nah, he's gonna keep though. Thank you. Appreciate it. I got him. Yeah, thank you. All right. Well, that's a baby. That's our limit, folks. That's our limit. I gotta measure him just to make sure. He is, ah, just kidding. He's only 14 and a half. What? Oh yeah, that's a keeper. Good job, man. Thank you, sir. Yeah, good job. I was fishing that channel side. Yeah. I think he's gonna keep. He's gonna keep. Oh. I think he's gonna keep. He's not as good as I thought he was. Thank you. He might not measure. Be right he came off in the net. <laughs> He's short and fat, man. I don't know. <laughs> He's short and fat. Oh, yeah. He's 15. There we go. Number five. Thank you, sir. Let's see. Number five is red. All right. We got a five. All right, guys. This is the 7.3 crankback rod Mach 2. And 
We're doing a red trap and we've been putting thump gel on it. I've been using this trailer gel today. Rethump gel up. You guys always ask me, you can get this at thumpgel.com code thump22. We'll save you some money. That's what I use. Alright, just retied. We got a limit in the well. Let's get back to it. Here's a 50 pound braid. I love this reel right here. This is the Lose Custom Pro. Let's get them. There he is. Got him. Got him. Got one. Net. Net, net, net. Oh, come on. He's right here. He's right here. I think he's going to call. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Look how he ate it. Choked it. Choked it. Thank you, Lord. All right. That's how you want to eat it. Woo. That will call. Now I got to weigh a couple of them. All right. Woo hoo! Thank you, God. All right. Look at those black spots on it. That's so pretty. That's so pretty. Yeah. All right. We're gonna coal out. Grab number six. We gotta see which one's our small one now. 1.8, 1 1.91. 1 1.91 goes back. All right. See you, buddy. Thank you. Number six is our next smallest one. Okay, guys, a little midday update. We just cold out for the first time with one that's pushing over three pounds probably right around three pounds we cold out we have two in the box that are just over two pounds we need to get rid of we just weighed them and we're gonna have a real good bag if we call those out so it's uh, about 11 30 we got four hours left to fish we're going for two big bites Oh man, I missed him. Why are they slapping it? Dang it. He hit it good too. They didn't slap it at all this morning. They choked it. Then none of them ate it. They were eating it so good this morning. Laker was trapping all day. I'm curious to see how he did. Laker and Ethan. I'm curious to see if their bite died around 11 too. They were going pretty far, weren't they? Uh, Laker was staying within 10 minutes of Goose Pond, I think. Ethan was going to go down towards the south end. All He was going to go about 20 minutes down there. He's got some good stuff down there. He got... Oh, I just got smoke. There he is. Net. Yep. He's right here. He's right here. Thank you, Lord. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, he will. Thank you. Woo! That'll work. Pulling out the last 30 minutes. Number six is the one that's got to go. Thank you, Lord. Where's number six? Oh, don't jump out, biggin. 
I got way too much water in here. There's the coal. Oh, that's a three quarter of a pound coal. All right. Thank you, Lord. He hit it and missed it and hit it again. One more. One more. It's cold guys, it dropped to 38 degrees. Just getting back to boat chick and weigh-in. We're gonna weigh him in. It was nice cold in that one in the last 30 minutes. Went to the area we started where I caught some good ones this morning and it muddied up from the rain last night. So I'm glad that it wasn't muddy when we got in there this morning and we caught a few, but it muddied up. We didn't get a bite. I'm not gonna start there tomorrow. We're gonna change up the game plan. We're gonna go right out of Goose Pond instead of going left. And we're gonna full send it tomorrow. So I'm excited. We're gonna go way in and see what we have, see how we did here. Pumped. We had a good bag today. Let's go way in. There. Up, senor, amigo, amigo. Hey, how you doing? Listen, all the tips you gave me, yeah, which you didn't give me any, didn't work. You so didn't I didn't catch anything. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I well. got one, one white bag. Oh. Yeah. Well, how about you? Let me see. We got a, we got some good ones in there. You got, you Ooh, got we're gonna you got go way in. How about, how about you got? We'll see. Angry, Moody, Tennessee, Alabama Pro with a limited bag. How you doing? I'm good. Great to see you, my man. You too. Always smiling, always getting it done. And here we go. Sir. Getting it done once again. 18 pounds, 9 yeah. ounces of light gunner's gonna buy for two more. Alright. You bet you. Can you like her today? I hope so. You hope so. He's, he's about to weigh in. We'll find out shortly. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Little old bitty fish. <laughs> Little bitties. Good morning, folks. Today is day number two. The Major League Fishing Toyota Open Pro Open here on Lake Gunnersville. We're sitting in 18th out of 260 boats. We had over 18 and a half pounds yesterday, and we're sitting pretty good. So I'm excited going into today. Uh, it's so cold this morning. It's 26 degrees, feels like 23, I think, with the wind chill. And we're gonna open up the Bass Forecast app here real quick and see what it says about the day. I uh, gotta change it to Gunnersville. Let's see. It is the coldest day we've had in a month and a half. And it's telling me 2.8 out of 10 tough it's gonna be a tough day we're gonna be fishing weeds it says slow roll spinner bait lipless crankbait we're, we're gonna throw a lipless yeah it's on there uh, ned rig uh creature worm or shaky it okay slow presentations and it narrows it down to flats we caught them in flats yesterday you bet transition banks we caught them in transition banks yesterday secondary points 
I, I caught a three and a half on a secondary point yesterday in migration rounds to spawning areas. All the above, we, we caught them in all the above yesterday, but that doesn't change the fact that it's still tough, 2.8 out of 10. So with that being said, we are gonna put our heads down. We're gonna go for five bites today. We are going to try and win this thing. Uh, they canceled day one on us, so today is the final day of the tournament. Somebody weighed 27 pounds yesterday. There were, I think, six bags over 20 pounds. But hey, let's do it today. Why not today? Maybe the big ones will bite. Coldest day in coldest morning and night we've had in a month and a half. But let's uh, hook the boat up, get out to the ramp, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you didn't see the practice videos, go watch those. If you didn't see my Okeechobee series, go watch those. Yeah, exciting. All right, let's go. We've been sitting in line at the ramp for 60 minutes. Takeoff is just starting. Luckily, we're boat number 120. I think we might make it on time fishing with Jonathan today. How you doing? We're doing well. It's Jonathan, right? That's right. Okay, awesome. We'll hold up today, but that's all right. Yeah, man. Crazy deal at the ramp, but we're getting ready to put in here. Go catch him. Weigh in 3.30. We got probably eight and a half hours by the time we get out there. But. The ramp's frozen. It's 23 with the wind this morning. And they're trying to ice it. They're trying to pump lake water. It's crazy. We're just gonna go with the flow. That's all you can do. Look who it is. Is that Kristen? No, that's Senor. That's Senor. <laughs> What's up, Kristen? What's up? I'm Kristen today. We're switching. He's okay. I like it. It's my car. Don't, don't you wreck his truck now? Hey, they, they put they're, me on. They're down to one line now, the line. One line? Yeah, one Oh my gosh. They put me on his boat because he needs help, you know. They told me, go go help that guy, you know. Yeah, my boat's running away from me. All right. Go catch him today. Good luck, man. See you guys. At least it's not windy. That's right. It was so windy yesterday. Whew. Just freezing. Well, I've been throwing the trap for a while. No bites, we went and I caught a limit flipping docks. Now we're back out here. I uh, didn't have the cameras rolling. It's been so cold, it finally got a little warmer on us. He just caught a three. We probably have like 13 pounds for our five. We got a cool out. We need two big bites. Let's go. Neither. Oh, 
Man. Of course, the one place we're like, let's pull up and fish. Wow. A lot of it. Dang. Doing good. Need a couple big ones. Yeah, you guys in a tournament? Just fun fishing. Just fun fishing. Oh, nice. Yeah, everything blew out today. It's bad. Yeah. Everywhere. in i didn't wear my chesty we weighed 15 one so we're gonna stick around see where that puts us we were in 10th place after weighing in there's probably a hundred of the 260 boats left to weigh in we'll see how that puts us i'm excited that is a wrap for the toyota guys we weighed in 15 one here on day two and we finished in 18th place we started today in 18th place after day one and we were able to hold that spot so we didn't drop any we didn't gain any places but stayed 18th that's a blessing just getting back home to the shop we are organizing we got the fan going tom henson thank you for building me that so cool and we got the boat so we are packing up we're heading to georgia we got clark's hill mlf tackle warehouse event next Hope you guys are enjoying these tournament series. This is gonna be more tournament videos than I've ever launched any on YouTube. Uh, remember, if you come to Lake Gunnersville, you can stay at our tiny homes in our lodge, and they're on Airbnb and VRBO, Sweet Springs Lodge, and then tiny homes. They're also linked down below. Uh, you can call 256-504-1303 to rent our tiny homes as well. But Go to Rehogo, just book them. Just book them online. They're easy to book, cheap, 125 a night, two beds, full kitchen, bathroom, boat parking, everything, and the trophy pond. Our renters stayed this week. We had three of them round out to Fisherman and the Lodge. They caught a six out of the trophy pond, multiple threes and fours, and they didn't even fish it that hard. Wacky rigs, they're biting a wacky rig, just a little, little teaser. We only let our renters fish the trophy pond. But I wanna share a little something with you guys. Super happy to finish 18th out of 260 boats. That is a big blessing, big blessing. Super excited there. Uh, you guys might hear me say that God paints a picture for us morning and night. You know, with the sunrise, the sunset. I'm not just saying that. He does. The Bible says creation's enough to know that He is Lord. He is Lord, guys. And the beautiful sunrises here on Lake Gunnersville never get old. Uh, Romans 1.20 says, For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, His eternal power, and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that men are without excuse. If you don't believe in the Lord, it's right in front of you, everywhere, guys. His beauty, His creation, we are without excuse just from that, just from that. So I want to encourage you, give yourself to the Lord and uh, devote yourself to the Lord and see what He does in your life. It's exciting.
But on to the next one, guys. Huge shout out. All my sponsors. Can't thank them enough. But I'm just so thankful for what the Lord does uh, in my life and in all of our lives. Cast your cares on the Lord. It's on 5522. And He will sustain you. Good stuff right there. So we're going to get out of here for the day. Go get some rest. But we'll catch you on the next one here at Fishing with Norby. Thanks for watching. God bless.